Hey everybody, this is Coach Brian from Score Beyond here to take you behind the scenes of SAT Up and show you why it is the most efficient, effective, and revolutionary way to prep for the SAT. We're going to talk about the Mastery Tree today, which is one of our major tools for helping students maximize their potential. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. Before we talk about the actual tree, first let's establish what is Mastery Learning. Well, mastery learning is uh, a little different than traditional learning uh, because instead of having students train or study generally to improve, mastery learning concerns itself with the individual skills and concepts that can be mastered by students. By using mastery learning, we at Score Beyond can help uh, students eliminate or remove specific limits of unmastered skills and concepts that make it seem like a student's score is generally not improving or plateauing. So how more specifically does mastery learning uh, differ from traditional learning? Well, traditional learning is not really an efficient way for students to learn. Students in a classroom uh, might all move at the same pace and study the same material, but uh, that pace and the depth with which they study that material might not suit every individual student. Uh, mastery learning differentiates and focuses on specific types of attention and help one student would need to ensure that his or her energy is spent efficiently on only those skills, concepts, and areas that uh, he or she would need to work on to master. Uh, by working uh, more toward a mastery of specific skills within a subject, the student then improves in the greater subject. So if mastery learning is preferable and it's more efficient, why doesn't everybody use it? Well, uh, we haven't really had the technology in order to implement mastery learning. Because it's focused on those specific skills and concepts that a student needs to work on, uh, mastery learning requires a greater differentiation uh, within a system of evaluation. And we haven't had the technology to evaluate student performance to such a degree. However, at Score Beyond, we have achieved that exact technology needed for mastery learning. Uh, and we combine it with uh, tutoring to, again, make sure that students are uh, learning, studying, and improving in the most efficient and effective way possible. Instead of having a tutor just generally teach math, uh, using SAT Up and our mastery tree, a tutor can hone in better on exactly what the student needs. So uh, let's talk about mastery trees implications for uh, the SAT. The SAT is a perfect showcase for mastery learning because uh, it has an index of skills that it tests every single time. It's a standardized test, so it has to do that. However, not everybody is getting a 2400 or perfect score. If the skills tested are always the same and never change, you would think that with enough practice or studying, uh, all students should get 100% or a perfect score. It's not really the case because when you take an SAT, it gives you a general score. It's very good at saying, okay, uh, this student is generally good in math, generally good in writing, or generally good in reading, but it doesn't specify exactly what might be holding that student back or which specific skills uh, inform that greater general score. Uh, the mastery tree gets more specific, uses mastery learning in order to again hone in on those, uh, those more finite or particular skills within a subject. So let's start getting into the mastery tree in SAT Up. If you were to take a diagnostic test in SAT Up, and if you haven't, I recommend you download the app and you do right now. Uh, the diagnostic test would show you exactly where you are with your mastery percentile ranking. For this particular student, uh, we can see that he or she is very good in writing and reading, but is behind uh, in math, at least behind compared to writing and reading. So if the student's estimated score is 2010, and that student wants to improve over 200 points in, say, three months, that student would need to spend time in math before reading and writing. Now we can get even more specific because again, we don't want students to just study generally. Uh, go learn everything there is to know about SAT math and your math score will improve. 
Maybe, probably, but that won't be an efficient use of time and it might not improve uh, to the maximum potential the student has. The mastery tree will come in and with, again, our data technology, allow students to see what specifically underneath the umbrella of math uh, that student needs to improve on or needs to study. We use mastery percentiles to do this, which uh, are basically uh, a measurement or a metric of comparison among all the students who take a particular question in SAT up or uh, perform with a particular type of question in SAT up. Using that uh, metric of comparison allows us to uh, more accurately tune into what the student is a master of or less of a master of. Okay, so this is what your mastery tree will look like after you take a diagnostic test. Uh, you'll see for this student, again, writing strong, reading strong, and math a little bit behind those two subjects. Now, the, the individual nodes underneath math are uh, in a locked position right now with a question mark because SAT Up doesn't have enough information on the student yet uh, to accurately assess the mastery percentile for each of those subjects. So this student needs to practice more uh, and answer more questions so that uh, SAT Up gets a better understanding, a deeper understanding of the exact strengths and weaknesses of this student. So in order to do that, uh, SAT Up will get a personalized workout based on that diagnostic test and give it to the student. In this case, uh, the student needs to focus on uh, his or her weakness, which is math. Uh, so the workout is going to focus on math and we're going to look for the optimal level of difficulty across 20 questions to give to this student. They're not all going to be crazy hard questions if the student needs to answer more mediums and become, master, uh, become a master of medium questions. Uh, another objective that we have with this workout is to generate data after it's done. The more questions again the student answers, the more SAT up learns, so after this workout the mastery tree should be fuller. We should know more about what to do with this student. So the workout's done, and the student goes back, looks at the mastery tree, uh, and we see, okay, great. Numbers operations, better than algebra, better than geometry, data analysis, 12th percentile in terms of mastering data analysis. So that's where the student's behind the most in math, and that's where the greatest impact can be made up front. Now, throughout the whole mastery tree, there are 92 different skill areas. Uh, those are uh, the most specific skills you can get uh, underneath these general subjects of writing, critical reading, and math. So uh, 15 questions will unlock three of these specific skill areas. Answering 100 questions will unlock more than 20 skill areas. So the incentive is to answer as many questions as possible uh, so that SAT up gets the most, uh, the most insightful and also deepest understanding uh, of not only the weaknesses, but to what degree a student is weak. So again, a student or a tutor would know exactly where to start with uh, his or her SAT preparation. So uh, again, as the student practices more, we learn more and the student learns more. We get an expanded understanding of the, the student's skill set. Uh, and therefore we can understand how best to improve that student's score. Not just generally learning the subject, but going into the particular skills within it. So this information is invaluable to everybody involved uh, in the SAT preparation cycle. Uh, the student continues to practice and sees his or her improvement through the mastery tree. Uh, however, our coaches can also look at the mastery tree and help uh, advise tutors what to specifically start with uh, with a student if a student needs tutoring. Our coaches can also recommend uh, after seeing uh, the results in the mastery tree where a student might need tutoring the most. Uh, after a tutoring session happens we can also then go back to the mastery tree and see a quantifiable uh, increase, improvement, or impact on that student's mastery ratings. Uh, so we get a lot of valuable information that everybody can use to, uh, to all be on the same page about how to approach going forward improving at the SAT. Which, as you might have figured out by now, creates a, a, an interesting mastery cycle. 
the student practices and improves. Or the student practices and maybe reaches a barrier, uh, at which point a tutor comes in and helps that student with that specific barrier. That information then gets updated into the mastery tree and shows where the student's next weakness is or the least mastered skill is. And so the student then would start studying that or practice that. So the more the student does and the more the student uh, engages with SAT up, the more information uh, is that it, the more information is provided, but also uh, the more improvement happens because each weakness is now being eliminated. Uh, as the student practices with uh, the mastery tree, scores continue to rise too. They don't plateau like with traditional general learning. Uh, because again, as each weakness is removed, the score is going to go up incrementally uh, every time we do that. So then the general score for math would go up, and you remove another weakness, it would go up again, remove another weakness, and it goes up again. So this is how we unlock tremendous growth and improvement for every student by finding those little specific limits or boundaries and removing them to affect the greater whole. So that's how we use the mastery tree and mastery learning to maximize students' potential on the SAT in the most efficient way possible. Uh, and hopefully that all made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can do so through your parent dashboard. Uh, students can do the same at parents.scorebeyond.com. You can always reach me at coachbrian at scorebeyond.com. Uh, and yeah, any questions you have about mastery learning or how to improve at the SAT, we'd love to field your questions. Uh, any insights or feedback or experience with SAT up, we'd also love to hear. We love to hear from our, our users. Uh, so yeah, thanks for listening today.